All right, Fishaholic fam. Well, welcome back to another episode or welcome to the channel if you're a first time viewer. My name is Rich, so thank you so much for clicking on this video and tuning in. And uh, today it is extremely windy, like with sustained winds of like 25 miles per hour, gusting to like 30. So uh, we're not going out in the kayak today. It's not even a good day to go out in the boats. So we're not doing that. We are gonna stay land-based and uh, our first order of business is to try and catch some bait here in this area. And if we can, then take them to another spot where hopefully we can catch some fish on them. So let's start tossing around the cast net and uh, see what we can catch. Being how rough this water is, I'm just gonna start by taking a few random tosses because I can't really see into it to spot the bait. But uh, I think that there should be some Maharas here. Oh yeah, we got two on our first toss. That's perfect. Huh, got a bunch of really little ones in that toss. Like, look at all them. Oh man, just a bunch of these little guys, again. All right, well, bait fishing mission accomplished. We caught a couple dozen Maharas in various different sizes. And now what I wanna do is I wanna head to the ocean beaches. And uh, today I actually brought my Quiet Cat Warrior e-bike. So we're gonna hop on the bike once we get there and ride a couple miles south to the inlet. And then that is where we are gonna swim the baits and hopefully get on a bite. So I'll see you guys there. do uh, some work with these baits here because I bet we lost a lot of water oh yeah we lost one Mahara too he's floating so I brought my white bucket here so I could fill this up with water and then transfer all of our baits into this because I knew that a two dozen baits would not survive in this one bucket on the bike ride here so we've got an outgoing tide right now and I've got my 7.6 Dark Matter Fishaholic Series inshore spinning rod paired with my VR51 Van Stahl spinning reel. And we've got 10 pound Green Moss Power Probe Raid on here and a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. And now all we gotta do is throw on a little circle hook and uh, we're gonna start working along here with the baits. And uh, the water is super clear so we might even have an opportunity to sight fish some, but if we can't do that, then uh, I've also got a little float that we'll put up the leader and we'll just kind of throw it out there off the edge and let the bait drift and uh, hopefully get slurped up. So let's start fishing. Oh, almost lost them there. All 
right, that should be a perfect little bait for a snook to slurp up. So that was just a random cast to get the bait out there. But I'm um, gonna be constantly looking right along this lip that we have close to shore here where I think some snook will be cruising back and forth. And if we see one, then we'll pitch the bait right to them. But uh, until I do, I'm just gonna let the bait swim around out there and uh, we might get hit by a fish that we don't see. Got something sitting right here. It could be a fish. Oh yeah, it's moving. It's moving. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Come on, eat the bait. Eat the bait. Eat it. Hmm, that fish spooked. Uh, I think it was a barracuda though, not a snook. But he did look at it for a second. But uh, it's gonna probably be hard to fool some of these fish while this water is uh, so super clear. And as this tide continues to go out more and more, it'll probably get a little dirtier, which uh, might help us with the bite. Oh, and I see something up here. He's cruising right along the lip. This might be a snook. Oh, he's looking at it. He's looking at it. Oh, he ate it. There he is. Oh, that was awesome. Sight fish that one. Slurped it right up. Oh, that's a beautiful one too. So lightly colored because of this clear water we're in. Come here, baby. She still has a lot of fight in her. Wow, what a pretty one. Look at that. Gorgeous snook. My day is so totally made already, just from this chunky fish. And look, the circle hook is perfectly right in the corner of his mouth. Oh, that is a gorgeous fish. If I was to guess, I would say this fish is probably like 27, 28 and a half maybe, you know, or somewhere in between there, but she's real chunky. Let's get her back. There she goes, kicking off strong. Oh yeah, that was epic. Woo! All right, that one will be a tasty little snack for a snook. And how I'm hooking them, I'm going through the one nostril and out the other. I find that with these smaller Maharas, uh, that's a perfect little hooking point where uh, the little ones don't uh, shake to freedom. All right, let's see if we can sight fish another one along here or just catch one in general. But uh, really there's no better way uh, to catch fish like this than uh, you know seeing their shadow and they're either just sitting there or they're cruising along towards you. And uh, you, know, you gotta be very observant of the surroundings and you know you have to have pretty good eyesight to spot some of these fish and uh it kind of makes it all that more rewarding when you can pitch them the bait and see everything happen like right in front of you it's so cool i got three or four fish cruising right here oh my gosh no there's like six wow one of them has got to hit this bait oh my they didn't even look at it
Oh, big fish cruising right here in front of me. Oh, perfect leading cast with the Mahara. Come on, baby. Find the bait and eat it. Come on. Oh, he just kept on cruising. Let me try getting another cast. Oh, he stopped. He stopped. Come on, eat it. Oh no, he's sitting right there. All right, so we're kind of struggling now. So I'm gonna try switching up my tactic and throwing a little bobber on our line about like two or three feet up from our little bait. So then at least uh, we can drift maybe the entire edge that uh, drops off here. And I'm thinking there's probably quite a few fish sitting on that edge that we can't see. And now I'm just gonna walk along the beach as the current pulls our bait out with it. And I'm hoping our bait will just be like dangling like this right on the hook. Oh, big Jack cruising right here. Oh, he, he, oh, he turned back on the bait. He looked at it. Dang, he didn't eat it though. Did you guys see that? That was sick. That was probably like a 20 pounder that uh, came in and, you know, he, he swam by it, but he came back and he looked at the bait. Like he, he was interested, but something turned him off. That would have been epic to see our bobber just get ripped under and that fish take off. Oh, that would have been so cool. All right, now if we uh, put this one in front of a jack, I bet you'll eat this one. Oh, I think I just got eight. There he is. Nice. Finally found another Snooky. I went through about a dozen baits until finally we got this bite right here. And that was on a bigger Mahara sitting below the float here. And I also made a, another little modification. I made a much longer 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. And uh, I only did that about like five minutes ago and then we got that bite. So maybe the longer leader uh, really helped. And I'm going to grab another larger size Mahara because that's what worked on that last snook. And it looks like I only have one more like this size in the bucket and then I have like five or six like two inch long ones. Check out this thing right here. Ooh. I think I just got eight. Oh yeah. Just got eight, but, oh, there he is. He's back. 
Oh, he still missed it. <laughs> Eat the bait. He's still on it. Just ha hasn't swallowed it yet. Oh, look, he's right, right underneath it. My bait's being smart and uh, avoiding getting eaten. Oh, there we go. There he is. Oh my gosh, it's a catfish. All right, hopefully we don't, don't get a catfish this time. There we go, bite. Fish on. Got this snook right on the edge of the drop there. That was really cool to see the float just get yanked down. This little guy's got some power. Once he gets his head down in that current. Last little look at this chunker, and there she goes. All right, we got uh, five baits left, it looks like. Let's make them count and hopefully get one or two more fish. Oh, there's one. Nice one too. Oh yeah, it's a thick one. Wow, he's got a second wind on him. This fish does not like me. Look at that chunky snook. Heck yeah, I am super pumped about today's bite. So what's pretty cool about this uh, like drift bite we're on right now is uh, all I'm doing is I'm coming up about like 100 yards from where there's like a little rock pile in that point there and I'm just letting the current drift uh, our bait uh, that's below our bobber along this uh, edge and uh, that's how we're getting our bites. I feel like we're fishing in a large, just a large river with a strike indicator basically. Oh, there's a bite right there. Oh, that was a good snook. Dang. All right, well, unfortunately, it's uh, been about 30 minutes since we lost that last snook, and we had this catfish and one other bite from a snook that just stripped the bait off the hook, and now we are at a bait, so I think it is about time to call it a day. And uh, we had to fish basically the entire outgoing to get on today's bite. Uh, there's still a little trickle of outgoing water, but it's uh, for the most part uh, completely done. And uh, this is only my second time fishing this spot. And uh, the first time we were here, uh, it was uh, in one of my last videos when I was surf fishing the ocean side and I just caught some jacks and I came here and I hit it hard with artificials and saw a ton of snook but just didn't catch any. So that's what gave me the idea to come back to uh, today with uh, some live bait and uh, we did much better. So I'm super happy with uh, the results that we had today and I think uh, as we continue to come back to the spots, uh, it'll only get better and better. 
So uh, anyway, uh, if you're interested in my Quiet Cat bike, uh, just click the link down in the description and I have a code that can save you on some of their other products if you purchase a bike, which is pretty cool. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more. And like always, live to fish, fish to live. Thank <laughs> you.